Hello, this is Rabbi Mark Angel at the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Thanks so much for checking in today. Please check our website, jewishideas.org. The Institute stands for an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. Uh, the question that we received recently uh, relates to the following issue. A gentleman, a member of our Institute, went to a shiur, and he heard the rabbi, the Rosh Hashiva, speaking about the importance of Torah study. And this fits in with other uh, uh, propaganda that we've heard uh, by many, many people, namely that studying Torah is the ultimate uh, misvah, and that people, if they can, should devote all of their time to Torah study, and uh, that's the greatest mitzvah possible. This kind of um, uh, philosophy is obviously fairly widespread in the more right-wing Orthodox community, and there's some sense to it. It's important, obviously, to study Torah, and without that basic knowledge uh, and the basic commitment to Torah study, everything else kind of becomes weak and, uh, and without foundation. So there's no one who's going to question the importance, the value of studying Torah. The, the real question is, is this a true statement for all Jews, or is this something that should be reserved for a very small core of Jews who have the ability and the wherewithal to spend their time studying Torah? Is this an ideal that all of us should be aspiring to, namely to not have any other jobs, but to simply study Torah? And does this apply to men, obviously, rather than just to women, or only to, only to men and not to women? These kind of questions uh, need to be analyzed. Uh, this is not a new question. Even back in Talmudic times, there was a discussion between Rabbi Yishmael on the one side and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai on the other. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said, the most important thing, the only thing we should do is study Torah. And how are we going to eat? How, who's going to plow the fields? Who's going to do the business? Who's going to make shoes for us? Who's going to take care of our clothes? The answer is, if you study Torah, God will reward you and other people will provide those things for you. In other words, studying Torah is it's a virtue all by itself, and you don't have to worry about the worldly things. Rabbi Ishmael says uh, that's not a good idea. Uh, on the contrary, many of our great sages worked for a living. They were sandal bakers, they were uh, hard laborers, whatever was necessary in order to maintain themselves. They didn't only rely on studying Torah and on the charity of others. Abaye in the Gemara on, um, in Brachot tells us that many people have followed the opinion of Yishmael and they've been successful. And they tried to follow the opinion of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and they were not successful. In other words, the Talmud itself comes down on the side of a practical view of life. One should work for a living, one should support himself, one should support his family, and also one should find time, of course, to study Torah. The notion that only Torah study is the greatest value is also emphasized within our morning prayers, on the, uh, uh, which we quote from actually Talmudic passages, which says basically as follows, These are the things that have no measure. And then towards the end of that passage it says, These are the things that a person has the benefit in this world and also in the world to come. Kibud Ava'em, and he's respecting parents. Acts of loving kindness, visiting the sick, taking in guests, uh, going to synagogue to pray early in the morning, bringing peace among individuals you know, between husband and wife, and then it concludes by saying, "V'tamu Torah keneged kulam." And the study of Torah takes precedence or is considered important uh, compared to all of them. Now, the uh, question is, what does it mean, "Tamu Torah keneged kulam"? So in the uh, many circles, it's taken to mean that this is the most important thing. Nothing else has any importance at all, or it's only important in, as a derivative or subservient to the study of Torah. If that's the correct, correct interpretation of it, which it might very well be, it's important to recognize that this is only one opinion in the Talmud. It doesn't mean that this is the opinion for all times. This is one opinion, and it's fine to have that opinion. Uh, however, one could also understand this mitzvah, this passage, as saying all those mitzvot are important. Visiting the sick, caring for parents, these aren't important things. Of course they're important. Hospitality, bringing peace among man and wife, husband and wife, between uh, people in the community who are disputing, of course these are important. So the Talmud Torah Kenegad Kulam could mean, and Torah, tam, the Sayyid Torah should be accompanying all of these things. Namely, they should be done in a religious spirit, in a Torah spirit. Be that as it may. In the, the world of art, or in the world of physics, there are people who are geniuses. There are people who are specialists. 
and we don't just begrudge them the opportunity of spending their entire lives doing their art. A piano concerto uh, artist plays piano eight, ten hours a day, and we 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 think that's a virtue. Uh, an artist uh, like Rembrandt would spend many, many hours doing a painting, and we think that's a virtue. A great physicist will spend hours and hours in the lab, morning, noon, and night, in order to have new discoveries, in order to understand reality better. We think that's fine. Likewise, a person who has that gift and is a genius for the study of Torah should also um, be able to study Torah day and night and feel that that is fully, uh, fully satisfying his soul. And this person, by learning Torah day and night, will also have a positive influence on the rest of us. On the other hand, that's good for a very small and very elite group of geniuses. It's not true for all Jews. It's not true for all human beings. None of us, not all of us are gifted in the same way. And therefore, to conclude this, is Torah study a virtue? Of course it's a virtue. Is it a virtue that is exclusive, that we should devote all of our time to Torah study and everything else is derivative? The answer is, for some few geniuses, the answer is yes. And for the overwhelming majority of Jews, the answer is no. We should live our lives, we should do our business, we should engage in trade, we should live normal human lives according to our own capacities, and we should also be studying Torah to the best of our ability. For society to function, it requires all of us, not just one little group of people studying Torah. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you for, for uh, tuning in today. And please again visit our YouTube, our uh, website at jewishideas.org. Thanks for joining us. Chazak, chazak, and very best wishes to all.